Hello, all you big, beautiful brains out there. Today, we're going to talk about the MBTI. Before we get started, take a minute to subscribe to Psy vs. Psy. Help out your friendly neighborhood psychologist while I tell you all about the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. The Myers-Briggs Type Indicator was developed by an agriculturalist, Catherine Cook Briggs, and her daughter, a political scientist, Isabel Briggs Myers. These two spent over 20 years studying children and young adults and based their test off the ideas of psychiatrist Carl Jung, who first developed the concept of archetypes. According to Jung, we have archetypes, or set personality ideas, for different types of people. Myers and Briggs wanted to measure the personality traits of individuals so that they could come up with set archetypes for individuals based on their personality traits. It sounds kind of complicated, but looking at the types of personality traits they measured and then how they combined those traits will make it a lot easier to understand. Myers and Briggs divided personality into four dimensions. The first is extroversion versus introversion, represented by either an E or an I. Extroverts get their energy from people and tend to be more action-oriented, while introverts get their energy from alone time and tend to be more thought-oriented. Introverts and extroverts seem to be about a 50-50 split in the U.S. population. The second dimension is sensing versus intuition, represented as either an S or an N, because, well, we already used the I for, for introverts. About 70% of the U.S. population self-report as sensing. Sensors are more concerned with facts. They're more reality-based and practical. That's opposed to the other 30% who report being intuitives. Intuitives rely more on possibilities and their own creativity. The next dimension, thinking versus feeling, is about a 40-60 split in the U.S. population. Thinkers, the letter T, are more concerned with things like justice and fairness when making decisions, whereas feelers, represented by the letter F, make decisions based on their own personal values and often self-report being more caring and empathetic towards others. The last dimension is once again a 50-50 split. Half the U.S. population considers themselves a judging or J type, which doesn't mean that they're really judgmental, just that they're more likely to be planners or rule followers. The other half reports being the perceiving, P type, meaning that they're more spontaneous and they don't really like following rules. Once you know where you fit along each of these four dimensions, you can reassemble your four traits into something like a Jungian archetype. For instance, an ISFP is given the archetype of artist and is considered to be gentle, sensitive, and creative. The opposite, an ENTJ, is called the executive and is seen as being strategic, logical, and ambitious. I just took the test and I'm an INFJ, the counselor, which means I'm organized, compassionate, and very insightful. Go me. <laughs> but this just wouldn't be Psy versus Psy if it was all good news. While it's a lot of fun to take and can tell us about how you're feeling right now, the Myers-Briggs actually holds very little predictive power. That's for two big reasons. The first, it's that it's a self-report measure. Basically, it's a survey. And you all know surveys don't really hold a lot of weight as far as predictive power. There's a lot of reasons why people would not want to tell the truth on a survey, so any data gathered from them isn't always going to be reliable. The second reason is because the Myers-Briggs inventory is what we call a forced choice system. You have to fall into one side of the dimension or the other. In reality, there's no such thing as, say, a pure introvert or a pure extrovert who just remains so forever. Over time, your personality grows and changes, and about half the people who take the Myers-Briggs, again, get a different result if they take it in as short a time period as a year. But, since it is kind of intuitive, that also means you could probably just guess your dimensions. You probably already did as I was going through the video. 
leave a comment down below and try to guess each of your four dimensions. If you want to know more about your personality and learn all about the science of psychology, make sure you subscribe to Psy vs. Psy so you can get all of our other videos. Until next time, keep thinking, and I'll see y'all later. Bye!